Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, as, it was, as I was introduced, I'm a member of the Buildings and Grounds Committee and have been for a few years now. And despite the challenges that we've heard about in the last couple of days, we remain optimistic that the all builders will, will still continue to support this project and that we can move forward if we're able to get the three-fifths majority on this warrant article to be able to move ahead with a potential special meeting at a later date to uh, address the legal issues that have taken place so thus far. So let me begin by telling you that the proposal that the Buildings and Grounds Committee made to the school board is the result of a couple of years of compromise, uh, both among the members of the board and by taking feedback from the community about this project. I think we would all like to see a new building in Alton, but the financial uh, state right now does not allow us to put that sort of proposal together in a reasonable way. Also, those surveyed indicated that they would like the school to remain on its existing site, so renovating the existing structure uh, seems like the best option right now in the most affordable way possible. Bond rates are very low right now. There are competitive bids out there uh, to, to be had, and although materials have not decreased, cost of materials have not decreased given the economy, um, uh, our estimates are that Further increases in building materials of only 5% will add $350,000 to this project. So the time to do this project is now for all of those reasons. I'll begin with, we're going over a few of the site plan highlights uh, of this project. First would be to create a safe, sheltered pick up and drop off area behind the school in a newly uh, created parking lot that would add almost, uh, almost double the available parking that's currently there. Along with the project, it would be to grade and irrigate the athletic fields to reduce the, the overall maintenance cost of that uh, and improve the conditions of those uh, outdoor facilities. Moving to the floor plan highlights, the first concern of, this, of the committee was to enhance the safety of the building. Uh, it was felt that eliminating the modular units was one of those priorities. In order to do that, the school needs to be expanded. By taking down the 1950s wing, which is one of the oldest portions of this building, and replacing it with a three-story structure, we can accommodate all four of the existing modular classrooms that incorporate eight classrooms. Uh, the third floor, depending upon what would happen with the gym article, would also be required, part of that would be required to house classrooms used to expand the existing cafeteria. Uh, the other new addition would be a combined media center for both the elementary and the middle, middle school to share uh, in the front of the building. There would be some moving around of offices uh, to centralize the administration so that uh, they can act more efficiently and aren't as spread out throughout the building and would also be useful to address the safety concerns. Uh, right now, this building is not secure. I think most of us who are parents are aware of that, that we can come and go as we please throughout the day. As an educator for a nonprofit organization who goes into schools throughout New England, there is not a single school that I have been to that I'm able to walk into aside from Alton Central School without having to go through a secured, monitored entrance where I need to sign in. We feel that it's important to address that concern uh, as well as eliminating the modular units. 35% of the estimated project cost would go towards this newly constructed portion of the school, including the media center and this three-story building. The other 65% of the projects deal with the facility upgrades. This would include new wiring outlets and energy efficient light fixtures throughout the building, adding double-paned, low R-rated windows to increase thermal insulation, as well as improve natural lighting throughout the school. Upgrading plumbing and trans, uh, transferring to water conserving fixtures. Right now there are toilets in the building that have been in there since the 1950s that use five to six gallons per flush. None of us probably have those in our home. They're no longer recommended and probably not even available. Reducing our water consumption to using a toilet that say uses only 1.2 gallons uh, seems to make sense. There are also a zero ventilation in the building right now because of the piecemeal fashion that has been constructed. So installing an HVA system that would allow for consistent and comfortable climate control 
and provide ventilation throughout the building would also be essential and would be, renovate, would be remedied in this renovation project. Replacing rafters and the aging roofs um, right now in the last two years, since 2008 through last winter, the school district spent $28,000 shoveling the roof. I don't feel that that's a good use of taxpayer money and moving forward to be able to, to put in rafters and a roof that can handle a reasonable amount of snow where we live in New England certainly seems appropriate. Lastly would be the aesthetic and functional upgrades to all cla classrooms and offices. Now, of course, this is not just about the building, this is about education. Healthy indoor air quality, natural lighting, thermal comfort have all been linked to improved educational outcomes. Uh, as I outlined in the specifics of this project, all of these can be addressed, and we already see that an increase in our students' score. So just imagine if the students are thinking about adding numbers, not adding or subtracting layers as they move from classroom to classroom, because one room is 80 degrees and another room is 65. Lastly, expanding the cafeteria will en enhance the academic flexibility by reducing the number of necessary lunch periods from four to three. There are a few additional options which will be just discussed with later warrant articles. Those would be the geothermal climate control and the addition of a gymnasium. Uh, Kingswood High School has incorporated geothermal into its new facility and has seen a 40% reduction in energy costs in the first year of uh, using that system. Conservative estimates show that the system would begin paying for, would com completely pay for itself in about 15 years. Those are using conservative escalators for both electrical and uh, oil costs. Moving on to the cost of the project and the tax impact. Uh, these estimates are put together based on a 4% bond rate, which is a con very conservative estimate, and it's likely that the, the bond would be at a, a rate lower than that. However, looking ahead at the most expensive year of the bond repayment would occur in 2014, and would re result in, an, in a $1.35 uh, portion of our school taxes. From there, it declines as bond payments are not level paid. However, taking into that, uh, that the Prospect Mountain bond is going to be retired this summer, uh, looking at the next slide, you can see that there's a net effect here that we're not going to see an increase of $1.35, all other things being equal in the school budget. We would actually see a slight decrease in the first year, and then over the next two years, some increases as we get into that uh, larger portion of the bond payment. So in the end, at the most expensive year of the bond in 2014, we'd see a net increase of 67 cents over what we're currently paying. To make this a real world translation, we can move to the last slide. That 67 cents means that if your property is valued at $100,000, you would see an increase in your taxes of roughly $67 or $1.29 per week. The median home price in Alton is $278,000. That would lead to an increase in $186,000, or I'm sorry, $186.26. This comes out divided by 52 to $3.58 per week. This is an affordable project. That's a gallon of gas or a number one coffee and two donut combo at Dunkin' Donuts per week. That, that would, this is using the median home price. Just as a reminder, it's been a while probably since people have talked about medians and modes. Median is the middle of a distribution regardless of how skewed the tails of that distribution are. So for half of the homeowners, of the property owners in Alton, it would be less than $3.58 per week to complete all three phases of this renovation. The major renovation, adding geothermal, and adding the gymnasium. Again, the, the Buildings and Grounds Committee remains hopeful that the voters in Alton will continue to support this project and allow it to move beyond uh, sort of the glitch that we've encountered these last couple of days by coming out and giving your support at the polls. Thank you.